Good afternoon, everybody. I'm a lighting guy, and I always talk about lighting. I think if we can understand that we've got three things about light that we have to talk about. We've got to talk about light quality, light quantity, and light direction. All three of those, for me, are hugely important. Here's all I'm after. I've got to be able to have true tonality. I've got to have a highlight, and I've got to have a shadow. I have to have those three tones, so says Leonardo da Vinci. The knowledge of your craft is this. The size of any given light source is directly relative to its distance to the subject. Is, is the sun a large light source? It's the biggest there's ever been. It's enormous, but it's 93 million miles away, which makes it a pinpoint source, which means when you go outside, if the sun's out still, on the shadow will be on the sidewalk will be a shadow which is a perfect hard edge hard cut shadow right size of source relative to distance in the studio if you are arbitrarily grabbing your light stand and moving it closer and then backing it up and moving it closer and backing it up you are affecting your highlights and your shadows and you don't even know it this is just a quick uh, recent picture that we just did in Salt Lake City uh, one light one very large octobank lighting her and the background together. If I'm within six feet of my background, I can light her and the background both with one source and do a great job for her. Same thing here. Uh, one big source, one big octobank, and uh, same thing as lighting the background. Oh, sorry, on this one I had a background light on the floor at about two stops below what I was shooting at. This is a really, really simple thing this is one light and one white reflector. Simple tabletop shot. Folks, here's, here's what I want to leave you with. So however you have to do it, find a way to get in control. If you're not in control, then stop shooting for clients until you can get under control. Once you get under control, do the same thing every time and it becomes predictable. I have to think, is this going to be additive, subtractive, transmission, or reflective on my light quality? Am I adding light? Am I taking light away? Am I diffusing light or am I reflecting light? I gotta know that first. Second, I gotta know and be intuitive on light quality, light quantity, and light direction. If I can answer those issues right there, I can walk in, look around, size up a shoot, get it done, and get out of there. Thanks guys very much, I appreciate it. <laughs>